Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we check out the Frederick Thornendahl Signature 33 pedal from Fortin. I am a huge fan of fuzzes and drive pedals and overdrive pedals and clean boost pedals. And naturally, all roads have led back to the Fortin 33 boost pedal, which a lot of my peers enjoy. Uh, I know my homie uh, Stay Metal Ray uses one of these with a dual rectifier. And recently I got a very, very early dual rectifier, a revision D in fact. And I was looking to find a new pedal to go along with it to use. And I went ahead and purchased the Fortin 33 and I'm excited about it. Now there is an awful lot of hype with everything Fortin and rightfully so. However, a lot of the demos that I have seen with the 33 have been, you know, with really, really low tuned stuff and it is made for that and it is awesome for that. But I kind of want to see how uh, it would sound going into something like the dual rectifier using um, slightly more uptuned guitar. So I am tuned to drop C sharp, which is a half step down, drop D, and I'm going to play one of my band songs uh, called The Hardest Drug, just the first little part, to give you an idea of how much this tightens up something like a dual rectifier, which without a boost doesn't sound particularly tight or modern, but the 33 really changes all that. So let's hear this in a mix. Now that we got in the mix out of the way, uh, I'm going to do a just a casual kind of playthrough. Now, obviously there's only one knob, so the playthrough isn't going to be super extensive, but I'm going to stick with the dual rectifier and I'm going to kind of uh, let you hear the 33 through all of its uh, various settings, setting with the knob going from lower to higher and I'll turn it off and then turn it back down, turning it on and off several times. I'm going to go ahead and stick with my Music Man uh, Stingray RS tuned to drop C sharp so you can get an idea of what the 33 is doing on its own. Let's do a playthrough. So what are my thoughts? I'm really, really happy with the purchase of the Fortin 33. It is a lot of money for 
a seemingly very, very simple pedal, but what you are paying for is all of the hours that Mike Fortin and Frederick put into coming up and ending on this design. The second I plugged into this, I knew exactly where my money went. This is $233.33 at the time of this filming, and it's really, really cool. I also particularly like that there is a side jack to switch the uh, channel of an amplifier like the dual rectifier that uses a quarter inch input for the channel switching. So you can have this going into the front of the dual rectifier and you can switch it off and it will also switch the channel to the clean channel so you don't have it on at all times because you wouldn't want this on some kind of a clean channel or something like that. You would only want it on the dirty channel, right? Makes total sense. I love this feature. And honestly, this was the tipping point for me in buying this. Um, there's a lot of hype with the Fortin stuff. I feel like it is rightfully so. And this is very, very aggressive, but it's not quite tube screamery. It is not a tube screamer. It is something totally different. And I enjoy the change. And it's just been a phenomenal pedal all around and it gets along with all my guitars and all my amps. What more could you want in a single knob box of goodness like the Fortin 33? All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch. And also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.